for how much the Washington Commanders are paying Carson Wentz. Should they be concerned about his reported inaccuracy in training camp? Watch this entire video, and I'm going to tell you why. Welcome back, everyone. It's your boy, CJR Sports, and today we'll be talking about Carson Wentz and his inaccuracy issue coming out of training camp. Let's just get right into this video. By most accounts, Commander's quarterback Carson Wentz has experienced a lot of ups and downs in his career, but we are now seeing that in training camp. Descriptions from uh, practice have noted that Wentz will thread some needles as he displayed when he is at his best. And we have seen some of those days when he was a Philly, when he was almost like an MVP type of candidate before getting injured. But the quarterback has almost missed on his share of throws over the last few weeks. After Washington's Saturday's practice at the FedEx field, even head coach Ron Rivera was asked about his regards of Wentz's inaccuracy. It's a lot better than you give him credit for. Just because of the way things have happened in practice, there's a lot you know, there's a lot of little nuances that we see that we look at when we get to the review. Yeah, there's some inaccuracy. But it's nothing that we are overly concerned about. Again, we see what's going on. We see how things are developing. We see the timing and just the understanding that the feel for what's going on with our concepts. So, as we continue to grow and work at it, we just feel like we're going to continue and grow and get better as an offensive unit. So, even Ron Rivera sees the inaccuracies of Carson Wentz. He's not overly concerned about it, but what can a, truly a coach say? Oh, we are really concerned about Carson Wentz and his inaccuracy. You know, we are paying him $30 million to be our starting quarterback, and we just, you know, we see him being a liability and an issue. Of course he's not going to say that. Wentz was traded over, was traded over from the Indianapolis Colts to the Washington Commanders when they paid him like a second and a fifth rounder and his entire contract with the extension that he signed with Philly. Now this is coming over from the Colts now to Washington. So truly, what can they say? He's a like like they can't say he's a liability and the you know it's a his inaccuracy is a big concern. No, they're just gonna have to deal with it. And there's probably not going to be a team. Like, this could be Carson Wentz's last opportunity to be a legit starter in this league before he's just a career backup. So right now in the comments, let me know, do you think we are overreacting on Carson Wentz's inaccuracy? Or is Ron Rivera kind of downplaying it? Like, again... This reminds me of a lot of the Tyree Kill situation. Like, truly, what can Tyree Kill say? That Patrick Mahomes is a better quarterback than Tua? No, he can't say that. He cannot say that to his franchise quarterback. He truly cannot. The same thing with Ron Rivera is dealing with his starting quarterback right now. He just can't say Carson Wentz is a liability. He phys like He just can't say that. He kind of said that we see you know what what we have reviewed we see the inaccuracies but and he also said we're we're not concerned about it but like what else can they say again let me know down in the comments what what you guys think about this Carson Wentz inaccuracy issue but guys if you haven't already make sure you leave a like on this video and subscribe we upload so many videos throughout the day about the NFL news so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of my content and it's your boy, CJR Sports, and I'm out. Peace, guys.